Okay, the fun is about to begin. Let's show you what we need to load into the van. Bearing in mind, we've got about 20 pieces in there already. So we've got all that whole rack to go. And this rack here. Yeah, Sean's just finishing off that rack. And all of these bar and these six fascias, they need to go. We've got some six more backings there, painted on the other side, backing there. Outside, we've got the drawers and a few other components. So yeah, today, right now, we're loading up ready for tomorrow fitting on the Wednesday. We always load up the day before fitting. So I can't spend too much time on this video. I'll be skimming through bits and pieces, but hopefully you'll see the start to finish just because we are in Lewisham. It's a massive job. John has let us down once again, so there's only two of us. We've got a lot to do. We're getting to Lewisham from Watford for a 7.30 start. Don't think we're going to finish until 7 in the evening. I'll show you the van, and then tomorrow you will see us driving on the way to work um, in the morning very early. It's going to be dark. Yeah, let's get cracking. So as you can see, this is what we're doing. We're stacking up all the components on edge. We're leaning them up against our toolboxes. So all our tools are always there. Barring at night time, we never leave, leave our tools in the van. Um, so we're just stacking them up. And then once they're in a pile, we will strap them across. But we've got six drawers to go in here. We've got chop saw. We've got toolboxes and packers and bits to get around. So once all the big pieces are in, um, then we can put our tools in. Well, the leftover tools. We've got this board at the top. So because it's a high top, we put these beams in years and years ago. But we decided a nice piece of ply up there helps us get our backings in and all our long trims, dust sheets, um, stuff that we just need more space for. And um, yeah, it's taken about an hour and 20 minutes. Looks like a bit of a mess, but everything's protected. It's all the little bits that just get stuffed in. That's why it looks like a mess. We've got the bearings at the top, the roof rack, trims, backings, drawers and all the sides and doors etc and all the tools in the back and one thing we haven't got in there is um, the drawer runners and the hinges because i'm going to use workshop time right now to split them apart and get them ready save myself some time so i don't have to do it on site so this is what we are trying to get done tomorrow and it's made up of six carcasses so the bottom carcasses up to the hanging rail that's a carcass so one big square then a small square above and then it's the same for this middle one and the next the next one on the end. There's six all together. Um, over here we've got a massive gap because there's curtains going there but we've still got trims to go around and this is the external so we've got 12 doors but they're shaker style too so we need to hinge 12 doors and hang them all so yeah whenever you've got a lot of doors to hang it always takes a while to line them up and get them perfect so not looking forward to that. Um, so yeah I'm using this time right now to split these apart out the packs get them in there components the big part and the small part and we've got the hinges here so i'm going to split 36 apart yep 36 for one wardrobe um this is what we're using today we're going to use the, the gtb soft clothes i'm really happy with these hinges really nice and they've got a lot of adjustment hence the reason i like them so they've got a lot of in and out and up and down so it's not like other brands where they've got half a turn you can really wind these in wind them out to get um, a lot of adjustment on that grub screw hence the reason i like them we get rid of these euro screws and just put our own wood screw in so adjust these to the center adjust this all the way back and remove these screws and then they'll be ready to fit onto the door tomorrow more than all it's five o'clock back to my cup of tea sean's going to be in at about half past five ready to leave at quarter to six we've got a long way to go we've got to go to lewisham so from lewisham to watford it's a long way um well when there's traffic, it's a long way. It's going to take about an hour and a half. So we want to start at half seven. We've got tons to do on this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make tea and have some cereal um, before we leave. Get my lunch together and, um, yeah, be good to go. But, um, yeah, John has let us down. He's a bit flaky. One minute he'll say he's going to come in. Next minute he, he doesn't come in. So he's not coming in this time. So he's put us under a little bit of pressure. Got lots to unload in the morning. Um, we've really got to sort of work hard on this one to try and get it done for sort of like a, well, a six o'clock in the evening finish, I imagine. So hopefully Sean will be here on time. We'll get going at a quarter to six. See you on the road. Right in the van, quarter to six. Say hello, Sean. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Morning, morning. Um, on the way, hate this part of the journey. It says we've got about an hour cut through London um, under the Blackwall Tunnel. So we'll see how long it actually takes because as you go every minute 
it adds up. We always find out, isn't it? After like two minutes, it'll be like, oh, it's gone up five minutes. But anyway, we're going to make a move. Um, hopefully, we get parked close to the driveway. See you soon. Okay, we made it. Just about to start the job. I'll uh, spin the camera around and show you what we got. Big room here to work in. And um, yeah, this is what I'm going to do first. Bearers. So getting those packers down, leveling up my bearers, ready for Sean. We haven't got a tremendous amount of space to assemble our carcasses because we've got units in the way. We should make it work. If you want to see bearers being put down, then just have a look at the video up there. But today isn't about showing you all the processes. It's about showing you the wardrobe being fitted as a whole. Because we're just so busy today, don't think we're going to have the time to do step-by-step -step processes. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark out with my masking tape where the, the upright's going to be. And then just start leveling that space up. We've got a bigger gap here to allow for the door to open where the curtains are. And we've got a bigger trim at the top because we've got cornices. We've got 12 doors to go on this. Okay, ready to rock and roll. We've got a masking tape where all the uprights going to be. So at the back, I am not supporting it in the center because we've got the backings to support. But on the front, I am supporting it on the center of all the doubles. So there's three doubles. One, two, three. Again, I'm not supporting it in the center of the doubles at the back because the back can get supported. I figured out that it's high at the back. You can see the bubble here. Okay, and then it's high on the left. So what I'm going to do is start from the left, back, bearers, and my level from that back point across. All right, bearers are done, and all the materials are in. Sean's brought everything in. We are at um, 9.03 at the moment, so amazing timing, to be honest. Yeah, but it's usually about 10, 10.30 that we get the bearers done. So we've got six carcasses to assemble. We do need to cut out for sockets on two of the carcasses, but that should only take 10 minutes per carcass. Yeah, six carcasses, slide them in, screw them together, and get them fixed in place. Then we can start putting um, bits and pieces in and hinging the doors. We also have these two wardrobes to dismantle if we get the time. So, fingers crossed, we can juggle that um, once the carcasses are done. But main thing is getting this wardrobe finished. Time to assemble the carcasses. Sean's finish this one off. I have marked out the sockets, so we need to cut out those sockets on the two doubles. Um, and we've got that marked on just there. We've got the cutout done. And these are aren't full size. These are two meters high because we've got another box that goes on top at 500 or 550. Onto the second one, as you can see, this one's got a division. It's the only one with a division. The upper ones are just open boxes with big shelves. So yeah, and then we've got two sets of drawers, one either side of there, and adjustable shelves up top. So we're doing it with the bottom there, so it's easier to stand up and get into place. Cut out for the sockets, as you can see, a nice neat cutout. Uh, 10 to 10, what do you reckon? 11 o'clock, carcasses, Sean, shall we work to that? Yeah. You reckon we can do it? <laughs> Let's show the viewers that we can do that. Right, so we're at 25 past 10, 25 minutes later, after our um, aim of 11 o'clock to get this finished. Just putting that backing on the center unit. I've already gone down and put the runners on the drawers downstairs. I've put the runners on those two draw cheeks. So I've just been away, hence the reason we're a little bit slow. This was the slowest one. So I'm hoping once that's in, we'll get through it pretty quick. It's probably gonna be like quarter past 11 by the time we finish, but hey ho. Um, we're getting there and we're still going to make good time. Two in. This is how we do our draw tricks, cheeks. We use 25mm components. So the drawers slide past the doors when the doors are open. Um, we used to use 18, but now we use 25. Third unit's about to go in. Draw cheeks are all on and the runners are, so I'll lay on the drawers too. Sean's just bis putting biscuits in the upper carcasses. I've hinged some of these doors, half of them. So we're getting there. Let's slide that in place now. Time is five past eleven. Oh well. Past our time, another half an hour ish get those top units in, but we have been doing other bits. Not a race, is it Sean? No, it works. Doing hinges as well. Exactly. Three in. Now we're just gonna do the small ones. About to go on with the last unit. All going well, all joining up nicely. We've joined top to bottom, top to bottom, but we're not joining them in width at the moment. So that's what we will do. We're going to get that one in, join them together that way, and then we're just going to join them in width. And then we'll screw down into the bearers, and then we'll get a fixing into each corner. Happy days. How's it going, Sean? Mm -hmm. Can you say hello to all your viewers? <laughs> say hi, ladies. Hi, say hi, ladies. <laughs> Do do that, you know, he's drinking a Pepsi Max, do the do the advert. Do that and then you wipe your brow.
<laughs> uh, Jack. Voila. What's the time, Sean? You got the time on you? What's the time, Mr. Ball? One o'clock. One on the dot. Well, yeah. I mean, I think we've done all right. I mean, I did say eleven-ish, but um, we have got the hanging rails in. We have got the draw runners on and ready to go. We haven't put the bottom ones in for now because we need to screw the hinges to those cutouts. Um, they just slip in in two seconds. We've done the cutouts for the sockets also. Um, we've put all the shelves in here, put all the adjustable pegs in, um, these little 8mm diameter pegs. Um, and we put the 25mm shelves in at the top also. Um, in that time, we've also hinged 36 hinges, um, 12 doors, four on each on the tall ones, two on the small ones. So they are ready to go. They've had all their plates clicked on and all the grommets on the doors. So basically they are ready to hang and um, not doing too bad. I think we just need a quick Steve Bruce. Um, but right now it is beautiful. Vanky, who's Vanky? <laughs> uh, it's downstairs. Stages that we're at is, um, even though it's really solid, it's not going anywhere. We've got really good fix down to the floor and it's round up against the wall. It was really solid. We still need to get fixing in each corner somehow. Um, so we're going to figure that out. It should take another 20 minutes. And then Sean's going to be working on the trims. Basically, we're just doing, we haven't got panels anyway, it's just trims. But the bits that are going to slow us down on the cornices. So we've got to scribe around those. Maybe make a template, just cut around a bit of paper or some cardboard to get some templates on the go. Sean did bring um, this in. Because we always like scribe without anything. We just do it freestyle we're using our own little our brains to work out how to do it but yeah um we might use a scribing tool like that see how that goes and um, to do the cornices but anyway effectively four trims even though two and two we got two extra long trims for the side so six pieces effectively um i'm going to work on the doors don't know whether to work on all the long doors first or a long door short long short don't know i might get two on they get, then get the upper two on. Once I've got a lower door on, then I can rest the upper door on it to hinge that one. So that's what I will be doing because we're ready to go with the hinges here. So I'm hanging the doors now. It's a bit of um, I'm and ahhing what to do first because Sean's on the trims. We're both doing things that are going get, to get, get in each other's way. Um, Sean's doing the trim at the bottom, but I need to get on with hanging doors because doors will hamper putting the trims in. So I'm just hoping that when I do get my doors in, none of them are going to be below the surface of the wardrobe. Sometimes there is a little bit of discrepancy, half a mil, something like that, a mil, where it just stops that trim sliding in. So hopefully not. Um, I'm doing this one man band kind of thing. Um, what I do is I put packers up to the underside of the carcass, nice and tight. I then put a six mil packer there. And I put a six mil packer at the top. I hold the door with my left hand, push it in, flip that hinge and put a screw in and then it holds the door. So I've got no other screws and hinges here, as you can see, but that holds the door now, which means I can just finish that hinge off, hinge, hinge, hinge. And we've got that gap all the way down um, by just using that six mil packer. And it just gives us a nice three mil gap when the door is closed. So it works really, really well. Gonna crack on. Do that method. I think I'm going to do another door along. The hinges that I am using are, have we got one line around? We're using GTV hinges. Um, we're using soft close. Really nice looking hinges, soft close. Got lots of adjustment on these two grub screws. I like these over other hinges because there is an immense amount of adjustment in and in, in and out with this grub screw, especially. That's why I like them and they're really, really reliable. Not have one break on me up to date. This is a full overlay, by the way. Everything here is a full overlay because every door overlaps carcass. Um, so yeah, full overlay. Okay, two doors on, although they still need adjusting. The gaps at the top aren't perfect, but I don't want to adjust the height just yet. I'm going to get them all nicely in width, make sure they're parallel with the uprights as I go. Then I can adjust the heights of the hinge um, I just don't want to mark the paint and keep adjusting up and down, up and down. Um, yeah, so we've got this trim here, which Sean's just cut. Um, 
this door is down below by about a mil, so I'm hoping I could just slide that in from the end. I won't have to take these doors off. Um, but yeah, we, we are doing not too bad. Uh, 10 to 2. Still got the light till about half past four. So yeah, I mean, we got sight lights too, so we'll, we'll be able to um, still work um, with decent light. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. Sean's finishing that run off so I can then just get all my doors. I think I am going to get my run of doors because we cut a whole set. So we used a 10 foot sheet um, to cut up four doors. So we had a whole panel. Then we slice it down the middle and then we slice at the top to give us four doors. OK, so I know that they're all going to line up perfectly. Well, hopefully <laughs> that's the plan. And then we got another set and another set. So I know that if I do this whole run, I should be okay with the top doors lining up afterwards because, um, like I said, they've all been cut out the same board um, on three sets. So, yeah, I'm going to try and slide that in and get that fixed from the top, hence the reason I've left these two drawers out. They get fixed from the top. We are at um, 10 to 4, and we've got five of the six done at the bottom doors and three of the six at the top. So I'm just about to hang that one. A little bit tricky on my own, um, but it's doable. Sean's cut and scribed all the trims. I cut the skirtings out, but he's um, done all the scribing there. He's just about to cut the top two pieces. So my job's right now to finish the doors off and scribe both ends and then get that fitted. And then Sean's job is to mark out all the handles or where all the knobs are going to be. Let's give it a little clean down, make sure nothing else is missed. So we're coming to the end of the day. Um, we're just polishing up. Um, what time is it, Sean? I don't actually really want to know. Is it nearly seven? Or is it past seven? Past seven? Oh my God, 20 past seven, oh God. Got here, oh anyway. I just need to seal at the top and that is done. Um, it took an age to get that corner thing scribed, just making um, a template. I'm not the greatest scribe in the world, but um, yeah, we'll just put some sealant in there. But this is it's um, 3.6 meters long, 2.7 high. Um, basically, this is the only section that's different drawers and adjustable shelving. The rest are hanging and open space at the top. Um, yeah, so we are going to be off. Got another 20 minutes, um, 15 minutes before we are ready. Just need to hoover up and and just finish off loading the van but anyway better go lots to do okay guys so it's been a long long day it's half past seven sean absolutely amazing thanks sean he's filming right now he wants to go but he's giving me another minute that's how good sean is um so we got here at half past well we started at half seven on my right we, oh we started at quarter past seven and we got straight onto it we got really really good progress but the bit that slowed us down was the the cornicing the scribing around the cornicing um there's so many doors the trims it was two at the top two at the bottom it was long-winded at half past seven we also took away those two wardrobes so they're all gone too um so that is it i'm gonna disappear now we're in lewisham um and hopefully the traffic's gone but i hope you enjoyed the video if you have like and subscribe um also we've got the patreon um down below look in the video description so if you do feel like you've taken something away from it feel free to go down there become a member and uh, support the channel that'll be absolutely amazing other than that guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it say bye sean bye everyone take it easy ciao for now